Hey guys, uh, today we will be working on how to configure the Net10 uh, AT&T data and internet settings on a uh, Nexus 5 as of January 2014. Hello everyone, this is today's Technical Connect and today's video is going to be um, just a way for Net10 AT&T customers to get their data and MMS working again. Um, this video would be dated for January 2014 as I experienced this with my phone. I lost my MMS and my uh, data for a couple days. So I'm going to go through the steps of how to get that back. Um, if you have Net10 on AT&T, this is what you would do. You would go to your settings, and you would go to more. Then you go down to uh, mobile networks. Oh, also, uh, this is also on a Nexus 5 running Android KitKat 4.4.2. Go to your mobile networks, APN point names, and for your APN, what you want to do is actually you would uh, click uh, new. I'm not going to click new because I already have it set up, but... Uh, the name will be Net10. The APN will be ATT.MVNO. This the APN previously was TF data, and that worked for me. But um, as of yesterday, I had this as of January, actually January 26th, I had to change it back to ATT.MVNO. <clears throat> for MMSC, it will be HTTP colon slash slash MMSC. Dot singular dot com. MMS proxy is 66.209.11.33. MMS port is 80. Uh, I shouldn't have to touch anything else except for maybe AP APN type, which is default comma MMS comma SUPL. Once you have all these settings in, you would uh, save, make sure it's, the option is checked, and then restart your computer. Uh, your computer. Restart your phone. And then um, all you Net10 at t subscribers should be all good to go with MMS and data. All right. So uh, that about wraps it up, guys. I'll talk to you later.